the Florida mansion where a couple thought it would be just dandy to show up and hold their wedding without the owner's knowledge is pending an offer, the Post has learned. Nathan Finkel, the owner of the estate, can now breathe a sigh of relief, knowing he doesn't have to deal with prospective trespassers any longer. The home first entered into contract on April 8 for $5,695,000. Courtney Wilson, the groom, and Janita Jones, the bride had allegedly sent out wedding invitations to their entire family welcoming them to their dream home and estate for a two-day celebration this past Saturday. When the crew showed up for the big day, Finkel was befuddled and immediately dialed 911. I have people trespassing on my property, Finkel told a 911 dispatcher, according to the South Florida Sun Sentinel. And they keep harassing me, calling me. They say they're having a wedding here and it's God's message. I don't know what's going on. All I want is it to stop. Police arrived and asked the couple to leave. They complied and no charges were filed. It is unknown whether they were able to salvage their wedding afterward. But what exactly is it about this house that made this couple risk their big day? Scroll through the photos to find out. Made up of 9 bedrooms, and 15 bathrooms, the estate is set across 7.2 manicured acres. Spanning a massive 16,000 square feet, the sprawling property boasts a long winding entrance, gardens, and scenic ponds. Stained glass windows are featured in many of the main rooms of the house. Other amenities include a grand ballroom, two-story gentleman's bar, movie theater, two-lane bowling alley and a dance studio. Outdoor features include a lighted tennis court, several scenic walkways, an 80 by 44-foot resort-style pool and rolling lawns. Months earlier before the event transpired, Wilson visited the property during an open house and pretended to be a prospective buyer, claimed Keith Poliakoff, an attorney for Southwest Ranches, where the suburban mansion is located. The guy figured it was a vacant house and didn't realize Nathan lived on the property in a different home, Poliakoff told the Sun Sentinel. This guy had no idea he lived there. You know the shock that must have been on his face when he showed up at the gate and the owner was home. 